thinking about uh, modernity and industrialization and particularly kind of some of the the horrors of that yeah. this kind of messy stage of you know the dark satanic mills the factories the pollution the poor nutrition of of the workers and things like that that's for me that's kind of how i understand um that that response right well it's important also i think to realize that in turning away from those factories and polluted cities and child labor and factories you're turning away from the social Mm -hmm. the collective, the common good. And mm. it's interesting that after the Romantic movement in the later 19th century, you get all kinds of um, movements which are dedicated to reform, you know, sanitation, proper housing mm -hmm. for the poor. So Romanticism is very attractive in certain respects because it does free the individual, but it also frees us from having a social conscience and th grappling with problems about like how does the human animal, the zoon politicon, um, the, who th only thrives within a culture, within a community. Um, how does that, that, how do we thrive as a human species and as cultures, as opposed to solitary individuals who could go off, yeah, and worship the, the moon on a beautiful kind of moonlit night and think deep thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, so the other thing I think about romanticism is in turning away from the Enlightenment and from scientific discoveries and values, you're also turning away from the use of reason.